Hello, and welcome back to Wild Sun Art Studio. My name is Robinson. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. So um, today I thought we'd do a flip through of the latest flip-a-lope. So there's a spine here that I think is about three, no, about a three eighths, quart, half an inch, something like that. And there's also a spine here. There's a little bit of a spine here. So it's just a stacked flip lope kind of a thing. It's the one I made in the last video. I think it was the last video. So on the front, I've used some um, spray painted paper, which I've showed you how to do and a little bit of lace, and there's a pocket with a couple of feathers in it. And um, there are three main envelopes, and then there are bunches of littler envelopes, which each have just a bit of a spine. It's um, about an eighth of an inch. So here is a tuck with a couple of little tags and a tab. And there's an envelope um, matted with the, the spray inked paper and a couple of cards. I am free. This um, would be really fun to write on with a... Uh... No, I don't have one there. There, a silver pen. This is um, Uniball Signo, um, which is one of my favorites. I like these the best. So this would be really fun to write on with a silver pen. And there's a pocket with a medallion label. I've been making some more of these label medallions, um, medallion labels. Um, they're really fun. And I was, I think I've shown you before, but it would be fun to show you again. So a tag with some roses. And here is a little, just a little book, like a shopping list book or poetry notebook or something like that. There's a little tuck there with a card and more journal. I really love this shape. I didn't really quite know I was making that when I made the paper cut, but it looks like a little rosebud. And then we open this. This um... I think I've got this at a quarter of an inch. And then this one must have been three eighths. So we open this and there's a little eighth of an inch um, spaciousness in there from that envelope. And each one of these envelopes also is an eighth of an inch. So all the way over here, we've got an envelope. I don't know if you remember, but the envelope used to have an opening like this. And, um, and the flap is attached on the back and I cut it down to have the opening be there. And we've got another feather and a flower and a tag. So you see when you add in all of these um, cards that it really does start stacking up. And oh, 
right. Oh, that opens to the back. That's why I'm having trouble. Okay, so there's um, a pocket that I added on because the main pocket of this envelope is a top tuck, and I'll show you that when we get to the back. There's another tuck with a ticket and a card. Flip that open. We've got a couple more cards. Art saves lives. Another label medallion. Another pocket with another feather. I love these cards. Very fun. And in here, we have another little booklet and a tall card. And just a little tab. You could put like a picture or something here, you know, like a photograph. And I did that. And why did I think that went to the back? Oh, I see. It's this one. So there is that cover to another little booklet with hand-drawn papers. And there we go. A little bunch of flip lopes. Oh, come on, go in there. So, as you see, um, this was very spacious when I made it at the end of the last video. And now that I've got all these little notebooks and the cards and the feathers and the everything in there it's lovely and jammed but the um the spines hold that and when i put it on the table you know kind of rests pretty flat so i really like i really like doing these with the um the spines in them so that's it May there be lots of room, spaciousness in your life for lots of art. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.